Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today the awaited video Gatling Plasma or Ultraside Gatling Laser What's the difference? Which one should you use? And it happened to be way more difficult to answer than I initially anticipated And on top of that I did some test on a boss, on a titan to figure out which weapon is the best DPS wise on the boss fight I, as well, did, as a side effect, a comparison. Watts versus no watts. How much is the damage increase? And this is a question for you, just, just for you, because I will not be able to verify if you answer it before the video or after the video. So I cannot verify, but you will know. So type in the comment, what do you think? Which option it will be, VATS versus no VATS on boss fight? And this will be true for both of those weapons. Do you think the VATS will double the damage? Do you think the use of VATS will give you 6 times more damage in VATS? Do you think it will be 12 times? Or do you think it will be 24 times more damage? The answer is coming later in the video, but now the differences and I did a long videos explaining both those weapons recently so you can check them out so I will not go over that it's not too much information just what's the difference Gatling Plasma Gatling Laser there's more options when you go of those weapons with Gatling Ultraside Gatling Laser in case of modification so versatility is there but now the biggest uh, difference for me is like with Gatling Plasma even if I crouch and aim and then start firing, as you can see, the projectiles are not super fast and it takes them a while to travel. When I will use Ultraside Gatling laser and start firing, the accuracy stays insanely good. So that's that's big difference, the first one. And really big. Then I can have even better accuracy if I use those charging and even better range. Incredibly good, incredibly good accuracy on the very high range. Now if we take a look on the DPS, on the full spec build, if we take a look, Gatling Plasma versus Ultraside Gatling Laser, both anti-armor, both the faster fire rate. You can see that Ultraside Gatling Laser is offering at least on paper, on the stats, about 10% higher damage per second than Gatling Plasma. Which is interesting, it was never like that in the past, now it is. But can it in practice offer better DPS? And by shooting like regular enemies, I usually cannot observe much difference. So it's about the same, at least for the high fast firing version, like this one is charging. So obviously DPS is lower than Gatling Plasma, but if I go for the fast firing one, here the DPS is no longer such a concern. They both seem to offer about, about the same. Like they all kill incredibly fast about everything now we have this flying creature so you can see i can still hit her but it's clearly easier if i will switch for a laser like it's clearly easier to follow the target and hit the target especially on high distance with a laser so that's a big advantage for the laser and don't forget if you decide to use not the ultra side fusion course but the regular fusion cores, like I have on this bloodied with charging barrels, I can keep recharging them, so basically it doesn't cost me any ammo. But from the other hand, as enemies currently can drop contextual cores from time to time, not this time around, but sometimes they do. As you can see, I have 24 cores now, so I'm even accumulating a regular fusion cores. Not only I'm not using them, but I'm accumulating those fusion cores. So those are the basic differences in everyday case scenario. The spin-up time is the same. The mechanic of the weapon is the same. The projectile travel time, that's different, as lasers are faster than plasma beams for some reason, so that's one big. But now, 
the boss fight. You are probably waiting for that. How it will go if we consider the boss fights. So here is the fight. As you can see on one side, there is ultra side Gatling laser. On the other side, we have Gatling plasma. And if you want to see the whole fight with whatever I was talking during the live stream, I will upload it to YouTube if you are interested. I will upload it without too much edits, because edits are here. But yeah, it was quite challenging to put it together. I figure out by a little bit moving the bars, I can put them one under another and you will have a nice view of actual in combat DPS differences. I need to say the combat happened to be quite equal on the left and on the right. And as well, the first bar, the top bar is the Gatling Plasma. The second bar is the Ultra Side Gatling Laser, the same like on the pictures underneath. Underneath you see the whole fight. My weapon broke in both case scenario. It's the same build, the same build, the same fight, the same Titan. I was doing my best to aim for the weak spot. Although you know that it's not perfect. And yeah, I muted the sound because they will be overlapping. So you can just hear a background sound from my game. And as you can see, no buts, it takes a while to take this Titan half bar down. It takes a while, but you can do it. You can kill it. And there is no legendary perks to increase my damage. No taking one for the team because I'm solo and no follow through because I'm not sneaking really. So you can see both of them. Unfortunately, Ultra Side Gatling Laser is behind. Is behind, even though on paper it does about 10% higher DPS, in practice is doing about 20% lower DPS in this combat. It's taking a while. Now, now you will see what happens if we go for VATS. We go for VATS. And with VATS approach, you can see how those are melting. Those are insane. And as you can probably, I will play it a couple times, so you have something to watch while I'm talking. As you can notice, the Gatling Plasma bar is going way farther than Ultra Side Gatling Laser. That's because I'm doing so much DPS so fast that even though it is a private server, it takes a while before server catches up and replenish this health to the Titan and respawn it then for the last wave that I'm fighting with Ultra Side Gatling Laser. But to answer your question, what's the difference? No VATS versus VATS. I'm killing the Titan about 12 times faster. So using VATS increases your DPS in, bo in boss fights approximately 12 times. It can vary slightly on the weapon and so on, but yeah, killing a boss more than 10 times faster thanks to VATS, that's a huge difference. It does cost you, of course it does cost you if you are using VATS and you are wearing power armor, it does drain your fusion core, but yeah, save in the time. I would say it's absolutely worth using VATS if you can. And I was spamming coffee. That's how I was able to sustain those weapons in VATS. If you don't know, that's the method. You spam coffee. It was, I think, over 20 cans of coffee for the plasma and twice as many for ultra side gutting laser. So unfortunately, higher fire rate more AP drain. So yeah, that's a, that's a downside. In summary, about those two weapons, Gatling Plasma, Gatling Laser, and I was using anti-armor versions for the fight in all those scenarios. I think you should have both, and I will be uploading in the future my updated build for Gatling Plasma and Ultra Side Gatling Laser. Those weapons are amazing, Gatling Laser, for everyday use, for high range use, and Gatling Plasma boss fights, especially if you want to use VATS. I'm still looking for one that will have less AP cost. I wasn't so lucky about the recommendation. Of course, they stay the same. Anti-armor or bloodied, weapon speed or crit damage and less AP cost on the third star for boss fights if you wonder 
what you are looking for. Those are the effects you are looking for. Now, let me know what you think. Is that what you expected? That it was not quite what I was expecting. I was honestly expecting that thanks to more damage on paper in the Pip-Boy, Ultraside Gatling Laser at least will be able to like do equal DPS to Gatling Plasma. In VATS. I was expecting in VATS it will be able to match Gatling Plasma. And yes, in fight there was a little bit of inequality in the last fight that I fixed in edits because I did get stagger with Ultra Side Gatling Laser. I cut off the stagger to put the continuous damage as Gatling Plasma. I didn't get stagger, so I cut, cut off the stagger to put it equally. But, however, I will not try to measure it. Ultra Side Gatling Laser was putting lower DPS, unfortunately. And that being said, I cannot wait for your comments. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.